Hello everyone, I'm Senor Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Road to 56. So, let's continue playing as the Silver Empire at the end of last episode. I believe that Brazil joined the Allies, unless I was dreaming, because right now, they're not in the Allies, and I think I saved the game after they joined the Allies, and I was panicking because, well, the United States is in the Allies, and that's kind of scary, not going to lie. Um, of course, Mexico... Mexico is a puppet of the U.S., as well as, well, some other Central American nations, as well as Venezuela, the leftist international of Venezuela. What is... Oh, Japan is still struggling in China. They're getting close to capitulating them, but... Hmm. A lot of, uh, a lot of manpower still for China. Still more manpower, but that does not look good. Uh, the Soviets are... fighting... the Allies. They're not fighting any fascists, they're just fighting the allies, which I'm fine with, I'm totally cool with. Soviets, you keep doing that, which hopefully will distract you, because Germany, surprisingly, is at peace. The fascists of the world are currently at peace, except for the Silver Empire. Um, so, here's what's going to happen. If I cannot blitz through Brazil right now, which probably won't happen, if I go to war with the allies, um, I'm probably going to join the Axis, if possible, because... Germany with Italy and Spain together, they could probably take out the Soviet Union, and they could probably take out the UK, m most likely. But I do want to address one comment, at least from yesterday. Um, I did tell my guys to go, go ham, so I really want to end this war as fast as possible. But the comment I want to address basically said, build more infrastructure so you can get more resources, because we're lacking resources right now. Not bueno. Uh, I'm... I'm keeping, I'm doing that. I need more rubber, which I'm building up, you know, refineries. I'm getting more oil, which, actually, we're kind of okay on oil right now. I'm building up more infrastructure. We need more aluminum. I want more aluminum for several reasons. Mostably, mostably, most importantly, I need more planes. I need fighters, medium bombers, and especially naval bombers. If we go to war with the U.S., I have to destroy their navy or they will be able to navally invade me. And that is a no bueno thing. That is completely no bueno That'll be important. So, next up, I do need more steel. I will. I have to get more steel because I need to make a bigger navy. I need, need, need a huge navy. Or at least a good enough navy with naval bombers to take out anyone's enemy ships. Ooh, submarines. Hmm. Subs, thank you. I shall use you because you look beautiful. Ah, oh, radar. I love the radar. Good. That's actually make some of these bad boys because they don't... Actually, is that the right one to make... You're the one I want to make. There you go. These are Mark 1s, which are very bueno. We're going to go to Tacuarembo. I don't speak a little Spanish, so I hope I said that right. Cool. You guys do that. Goodness, we're going to need a lot of steel. I want to get to the capital as fast as possible. I don't know if that's really going to happen, though. Ugh, supply is pretty bad around here. Oh, my goodness. Please stop killing yourselves. Please. Oh, my gosh. Those mountaineers. Oh. Not, uh, manpower, we're still mobilizing. That's pretty good. Um, I, I really thought that you, they, the Brazilians joined the Allies. Uh, if that's so, I mean, my saves... Well, I guess I'll show you my save games. I mean, right now I'm doing the North Pole Enclave and then Qing China, but this is the one I clicked on. Yeah. I really thought they joined the Allies. Am I going crazy? I might be going crazy. But I'm not going crazy enough that where I'm not going to annex Brazil. Ah, Brazil. Thank you for joining the future South American Federation, led by... Oh my goodness, that's a big ol' silver empire. Leave a like for that massive silver empire, because we must continue going to war. War, 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 and when we're done, we're going to keep going to war. So, what can I build that only uses a tiny bit of chromium, a little wee bit of tungsten, and some oil? Well, seeing as nothing uses oil except for fuel, uh, not really much. Not really much. I really don't need more military factories. I just need more resources. Hmm. I love artillery. I really do. I love planes. And I love armor, but I have no armor. And that uses steel. If anything, you guys could probably come down here. I don't need that much of you guys, so do that. Give me some... Do I have any naval bombers? No, I don't. When we need to research that. Do that. Do that. That looks good. Cool. Uh, does Brazil 
Did they have any aluminum? They have a little bit of steel. Actually, yeah, I like that. Oh, a little bit right here. This would actually probably prove to be the most useful for now. Let's do that. Let's build some infrastructure here to get a little bit more aluminum. Well, I say a little bit more, but it's quite literally one more aluminum. I mean, in time, I will want to build all this up, but we are peace, and peace is okay. You know, peace it is what it is. I think I'm itching to go to war with maybe someone else in time, because I might get criticized for a weak foreign policy. So, hello, Republic of Cayenne. Welcome to South America, and you'll be gone in about 80 days. Hmm, let's use you because there's less divisions of you, and the supply probably up here is garbage. Thank you. Oh yeah, level 2. That's going to be complete trash. Oh yeah, invite to join the faction. Well, not yet. Not yet. Thank you for the offer, Germany, but I'm going to say not at the moment. Not at the moment. I'll, I guess, I'll guard against Colombia for now. It doesn't really matter too much. Guaranteed by the Canadians, and I don't like that. Canada, can you go to war with America? I don't know. Why not? Just... Can you get yourself killed off or something? Oh, wait, they still need to do patriation. They could technically still go fascist. Of course, they could go communist, too. Um, and this is... They leave the Allies, which they're not in the Allies anymore. North American Alliance, they could do that, too. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Right now, though, we need to build ourselves up, and that's the most important thing. We could exploit for more tungsten, which we don't need, and rubber, which... We could use quite a bit more rubber. Let's go ahead and grab... Just a little bit more of this. And let's stop trading with the Americans just because I don't want to give them more goods. German Reich? Yeah. There you go. That's not too bad. Not too bad. Build, build, build. We have 172 factories. Very nice. We finished another light cruiser. You guys did a great job. Go ahead and hang out down here in Rio. I'm going to... Oops, nope. Go down here, and then let me shift click. God dang it. Control click. There you go. Yeah, don't come to these garbage ports. These are more for trading. These aren't meant to be used too much. Um, level 5. I'm going to keep level 5, just in case. You never know. Level 5s are good. Level 4s, since there's nothing else up here, up here, like in Central America for us just yet. I'm going to keep that there. No, no, no. What are you thinking? Don't you dare... Uh, for level 4, that's not bad. I'll leave the level 4 there, too. That looks pretty good. Awesome. Repair, repair, repair. You don't have that many subs. You guys, come down here. Cool. So, right now, we have some another division. Very good, very good. We need some Coast Guards. Which, are we training any? We are training some. I need some more than just th two at a time. That's not enough. I'll be honest, that's not enough. We, we need more. Because once America gets involved... Things are going to get crazy and messy. Probably the, the best way I can just put it like that. Equipment modernization, good. Two more divisions, awesome. Um, what was that? So, we could do this. Equipment innovation, special forces. Let us do standard, standardized equipment. By standardizing the equipment of our soldiers, we can fine-tune our industry to produce this equipment at a higher rate, which means I can depend less or put less factories on my small arms and divert them somewhere else, which really isn't a problem, seeing I guess as I already have only three factories on those guys. I'm really kind of waiting to see if the Allies go to war with anyone, if the free coalition states led by Canada goes to war with anyone. I want to see some more war. Yeah, the Soviet Union is at war with the Allies, but that's not too much of anything really happening right now. We could excavate for more stuff. But that won't help us with rubber. That could help us a little bit with aluminum. And a little bit more for chromium, actually. That's not a bad idea. Um, yeah, we might as well do that. Oh, we're already doing that. Good, let's do some more of it then. Since we do have six whole research slots. Over here, legal status of women. What do I do with women? You know what? Leave in the comments below. What should I do with the legal status of women? Limited rights, traditional rules, enforced patriarchy, which gives us... Less population, but more output, or total equality. You know, it sounds like 100 manpower per week sounds nice. That's not a lot of manpower, though, still. Even though you do get more recruitable population. In time, probably we could do total equality just because... Well, well we can't because we're fascist. But whatever. Um, let me know in the comments below. I don't know. 
I don't really care which one we do. Improved medium batteries, steel production, that's going to come in handy. I need more capital ships to contend against the American Navy, but what I really need are torpedo bombers. And are these... Naval Aviation... Oh, hold on. I just want to make sure I do the right one. CV Dive Bombers, CV Fighters, Torpedo Bombers. Oh, Maritime Patrol Bombers. Seaplanes. Maritime Patrol 2. Yeah, Torpedo Bombers. Um... Which one is which? Maritime Patrol. These... This one down here looks like the... Ah, oh, this is a carrier version. I was looking for this little symbol. Oh, that's over here. Yeah, cool. So we want to make some of these. Maritime Patrols. Yeah, those are going to be extremely necessary for the future. Let's go ahead and get some of that as well. Start making... Or at least beginning to think about making... Some of those bad boys. Please don't tell me you're guaranteed by... Canada? You're really becoming an annoyance. You're really starting to make me not happy with you. Um, other than that, I have nowhere really to attack unless... I could go to war with Panama. Guaranteed by the U.S. I could try a naval invasion. How strong are they? They have a division. Because I just want as many resources as I can take right now. That actually might not be a bad idea. Let's stop justifying on them. And it probably costs Canada more and more for them to guarantee other people. It only cost me 12, so it doesn't really matter. 12 political power, of course. If that's the case, I want to send some Mountaineers to attack. Come here. Invade right there. You guys come from the same place. And... Oh, we're going to attack there. Not a valid spot for an invasion. Um, I could go from here. Invade. Not there, because that's on the wrong side. I guess you could attack there. I don't want to do that just because that could kill off our soldiers. So. so we got those two doing stuff. I guess I messed it up a little bit earlier. Whatever. You guys... I'll attack that one port, and once we have that side of Panama, we want to come over here and invade Panama proper. Shouldn't take that many divisions to do that much, but I want to Im increase my influence as much as possible before everyone gets guaranteed by <clears throat> the goddamn Can Canadians. Logistics companies one good Indonesia join the Chinese United Front. That's an interesting faction to join, but you know, whatever. Engineering, that'd be good to do for better radar in time. We'll do that. 41. Okay, not bad. Better motorized would be good. I, We need to do some artillery, but we could also start using some tanks. Do I have the resources for tanks? Not really, but they're good to start uh, thinking about making because those are going to become very, very important in time. <sighs> Torpedo bombers. I don't need carrier stuff. I'm not going to focus on carriers because I can't afford it. I could make steel mills. Oh, I can make aluminum mills. Oh, I need that. Oh, God, yes. Um, keep making what you're making, guys. But let's start making at least one or two of these steel mills. They're going to be very, very important. And you know what? Keep making a thing of civilian factories, because those are going to continue to be important as well as we continue, continue to build, build, build. Man, I cannot speak tonight. Um, actually, how many men have... The these people have lost. Chinese United Front, wow. That's not good for China. How about the British Soviet War? 1.67 versus less than a million. Wow. Qing China's are obviously gone. Republic of Finland's gone. They really need the Germans and the Soviets to kill each other off. What are the so Germans even doing? Okay, they're going to invade the Soviets. Okay, that makes sense. Thank you. At least you're finally going to start doing something. War propaganda, not bad. I could do region-wide industrial integration. Do I have anything else here I could use first? Over here, we want to build... It's not bad. It's not great. Backroom backstabber, not really worth it. None of this is really worth it. Army stuff? Military stuff, really? Uh, let's build something with ships. Yeah, these suck. I hate debuffs. Let's get ship designers so we get more research speed, so we can do stuff faster. That'll be important. That'd be good. That'd be good. Build ourselves up for now, because 
We don't know how long we'll be at peace. It could be forever, it could be not forever, I don't know. Canada. Canada. How flippin' cheap is it for you to guarantee the independence of other people? Like, seriously, come on. Canada, you're pissing me off. You know what? I want to get, like, the Bahamas and Cuba so I can have a way to invade Canada. I need to invade Canada. Uh, and send in the zombies. Huh. Compromise with Quebec. Excavation 4. This will upset the population. Well, good. Good. Piss off your own population. That always helps your enemies. Let's get some more excavation as well. Okay, it's a little better. We have a, you know, positive surplus of chromium. That's good. It's very nice. Oh, that steel. Oh, yeah, that steel's getting done. Nice. That's even better. I need aluminum, though. Keep doing this, but throw on one more steel, because why not? We're going to keep using more and more and more steel as time goes on, and that would be delightful. It doesn't take that long to produce anyways, which is really, really good. Next up... Oh, I need to make rubber... Oh, that's right. This is road to 56. I need to make rubber plants instead of refineries, because they don't make that stuff. Ah, I can't go to war with you guys, which really sucks, because Canada gets in my way. You're guaranteed by the U.S. Costa Rica, how strong are you? You got a single division? Let's try you now. It only takes 60 days. You know what? I already have divisions here. Would be able to do that. Then this attacks there. Followed up with you two attacking from here to there. That's good because it doesn't get into the next sea tile. That's good. Would that be possible? Canada, please, leave everyone alone. Why can't you be, like, more independent? Good. Now hurry up so we can go to go to war with them and hopefully the U.S. doesn't get involved. For the love of God, U.S., please don't get involved. Canada, you too. Um, I'm going to put... Ah, oh, yep. Questions and motives of Costa Rica. Come on over down to here. That'd be good. All we need is two tiles. Standardized equipment. <clears throat> Very nice. Very nice. Fleet modernization sounds good. And I'll probably do that in time. Stability, more population, I like that. Paramilitarism's okay, not really necessary. Honestly, I don't need this. I don't need Military Factory 3 either. Secret weapons, it is 1941. We want to probably start researching nuclear stuff, so it is tempting to expend all re extra resources into developing tanks and planes, but the secret to winning wars lies in whole new fields of science, electronics, rocketry, and nuclear research. We get about 1.53 political power a day. Very nice. We're positive on everything except for dive bombers, which... I'm not sure why I'm still making. Whatever. You know, whatever. Please don't be guaranteed. Please don't... Okay. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's only... We've got another 50-ish days or so, but Canada, you... Stay home. Stay home, guys. Uh, what is Bulgaria up to? They're giving Spanish states some dockyard rights. So what does this focus do? Does it immediately make them declare war, or what What they do? They, okay, they just get a war goal. It's not an immediate declaration of war. Um, do they have the thing to make Rex Commissariats? Advanced fire bases? Nice. I hope they have an option to make Madagascar a colony. Of course, this isn't the Darkest Hour mod. This is Road to 56. I don't think they have that, yeah. Hmm, could be wrong. Not really going to check anymore. Doesn't matter. Cool. Next up, shock and awe. More soft attack, more heart attack, and more soft attack and heart attack for artillery as well as the infantry. Or main army. Hmm. Hmm. Inclined belt armor scheme. Very nice. 1941. Capital ships. Those are necessary. Please, 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 please. God dang it! <sighs> I'm not really that angry. I'm not angry at all, really. Come on, guys. Come on. Yeah, I'll just... Guys, man, come on. Can't you just stay home? Uh, to be honest, I'm kind of waiting to see what Germany does as well, because if they can just steamroll the Soviets, or at the very least beat the Soviets, then, uh... Yeah, I'll definitely ally with the Germans. And the Italians, and the Spanish. What the heck? Um, hello, Communist States of Amer America. America. You're already fighting the Germans. Support Rock Island. Well, I love guns. 
You actually don't have that many divisions. You have a ton of ships, though. And, of course, a massive industrial base, but... Hmm. Appeasement. Intervention in Europe. Yeah. Thanks for supporting that Monroe Doctrine, which I guess is already broken by this time, but whatever. Full desegregation, New Deal, accumulated wealth tax. Hmm. Oh, coordinate naval equipment manufacturers. Naval equipment experience cost. Wait, experience cost? What is experience cost? Hmm. I don't understand what that means. Ah, there goes the Germans. Good. Win. Please, for the love of God, win. Um, I want to see what happens here. Germany breaks Molotov. Ribbentrop packed uh, a few months late than what was historically happened. All right, losses. Holy. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness. Oh, the Spanish state immediately joined as well, which is good. Ah, yes. Aluminum production. Did anyone win yet? Doesn't look like it, and that's okay. Steel is nice. SRD is nice. Reinforce rate. Better research speed could be very useful, since there's so much to research here. Consumer goods goes down. Construction speed. I like the construction speed. Construction speed is extremely necessary, I found, when you're playing Holy Four. It doesn't seem like it, but when you're trying to invade enemy nations, it, it's really, really, really useful. Um... I said I wanted more tanks. Or at least to start making some sort of tank. Mediums. I don't have the base to support that yet. Planes. How are my planes looking like? Actually. Planes are going to be okay. Because now we're making the maritime guys. We got the medium bombers. We got regular fighters. That's really all that we need. Naval stuff. Let's do some more naval stuff. Just because I'm going to need it when I make these capital ships. All right, Germany, please do not lose. Uh, your strength right now is influence Bra Brazil. Uh, Germany, Brazil doesn't exist anymore, so I can take their place. I can take their place, man. Like, you and me, we can be, like, hombres or something, you know? We can be friends. Get some better artillery, that'd be bueno, you know. I mean, who are we led by? We're led by, you know, Nemo de Anquin. We're buddies. We're buddies. And uh, see, it, it says Senor Mokolover up here. We're obviously buddies. Obviously. You know, you got sp some Spanish guys in your alliance. You got some Italian guys. You could use some Ar Argentinian guys as well. Absolutely. Uh, Maritime Patrol 30. Awesome. Let's get to the next level before we start making some, really. And then we'll have to make some more stuff. Ah, very nice. Aluminum, aluminum, aluminum. Good. Uh, good. Good. Start doing that and start building some more all across the area. That'd be very nice. We have three more divisions. Awesome. Good. This is still looking okay. We have our ships still down here. Awesome. Really nice. Do we have any extra sh extra ships? Yes. We actually have three more subs. Great. And a light cruiser, which is totally great as well. I just want to keep an eye on what's happening over here. It looks like no one has moved. No one has moved. Okay, who doesn't have their goods? <sighs> Guiana. Guiana. Um, Germany? You know what? You could probably use a few more of those to help you with your war effort. You've lost 70,000 versus 350,000 some. Not bad. Not bad. 390,000 some. Uh, let's take a quick look. Oh, they actually did take one piece of German-Polish territory, and the U.S. is invading... Uh, that would be Latvia? Yeah, that'd be Latvia. Socialist science. Oh, oh, they're mobilizing more men. Oh, that's not good. But Germany might be... might not be... Influence Brazil. Yugoslavia is straight up not having a good time. Who's... What's going on? Oh, they're... Yeah, Yugoslavia's in the common turn. I forgot about that. Yeah, once those guys are gone... Oh. Russia. They're not going to have a good time, even though they started to invade... Uh, what was Romania and Poland at one point in history. Good, good, good. Region-wide, that's important to do. We have secret weapons we could use. Officer programs. Consent 
Volunteers. Equipment innovation. How about a motorized army? Naval exercises? Ah, oh, let's do that so we get more naval XP. So, what better way for our sailors to learn how to behave in combat but through drills and exercises? I love how in-depth these descriptions really are. Very, very in-depth descriptions. <gasps> we have a surplus, a slight surplus of steel, finally. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Put you up there. Make a crud ton of you. And we're going to need a lot of rubber. Oh, nice. I can stop supporting the U.S. as much. Good. And actually, give me more rubber. Uh, Malaysia. You look like you could use some help. Yeah, there you go. More aluminum. That'd be great. That'd be really, really great. And there goes Yugoslavia. Well, well, hold on. What the heck is a kingdom of Africa? So you're saying you're the kingdom of Africa. You are tiny. Why did you piss off the U U.S.? Oh, you joined the Axis, that's why. Alright, so now we can go to war with Nicaragua. The Canadians are probably just guaranteed them. No? Control immigration. Huh. Really? If you're going to control immigration, give me those immigrants, because I want to increase my manpower, or my, you know, my monthly population. Um, naval invasion support, do that to that. That'd be good. We have no air superiority, because our guys probably won't be able to reach up there. What are our planes doing? They're just kind of hanging out. That's fine with me. Do we have any extra spare medium bombers? Because we might be able to make it up there. That's going to be a big N-O for me, dog. Nope. Go ahead and go to war before we can do any before anyone does anything about that. And they have a total of oh crud four divisions. Well, I'm sending in quite a few. Let's see what happens if the U.S. gets involved. Well, I'm going to join some. Oh god, dang it! That's right, I can't do that while at war. Whatever. 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 Developments. I like developments. Fleet modernization. Most of our ships' designs are old. Unless we want to lose every battle we fight, we must modernize our designs. Good. Go, my men, go. Um, I put you over here for a reason. I should probably put you on here for another reason again. Go ahead when you can. Uh, oh, there. They are off. Go, man, go! Oh, what is that? No intel on that combat. Okay, well, I guess I don't need to know. Oh my goodness, it got really laggy. Holy cow. Oh, is someone sending over divisions or something? Okay. I was just going. I still want to keep an eye on this. The Germans have pushed in a little bit. Oh, they've definitely pushed in a little bit. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they have four divisions. Hopefully the divisions aren't super thick. That would be good. Alright, let's keep going. Infantry, God bless. And how many divisions are on there? All four of them are. If I told you to do this, would that help? They have no forts, so being uh, fort busters wouldn't really help. Ah, uh, but we might be able to win. Brave Argentinians, brave silver soldiers. Keep moving into Man Managua. Managua? Managua. Guamana. Losses, battle isn't over, so we don't really know. How much manpower do they have? Eh, they got a little bit, not a ton. Do they have any resources? They have two chromium, so that's going to be so useful. Uh, yeah, do that next. Dual purpose, I really like the dual purpose stuff. That's really important to get. We should be able to win. We are losing quite a bit of strength. We're losing more strength than organization, which really sucks. But using four or five divisions at a time isn't the worst thing possible, especially if we win. Excavation 2, welcome aboard, welcome aboard, and 1936 heavy ship hull, very good. Next up, let's do some fuel refinery stuff, just because so then we can do basic rubber plants, that's going to be important. 1941, almost 1942, I love, love, love radar so much. Let's use advanced computing machine, because that's only 87 days, and we have a research bonus to help us out with that. Come on, we made it, and we instantly capitulated them, the Nicaraguan menace is no more. Now, obviously, if we go to war with the U.S. or Canada, this is going to be impossible to defend against. Or defend, really. Oh, you are allied with... Oh, you're in the Allies. God dang it. Oh, 
I didn't realize... Oh yeah, you're all the god dang allies. Um, but that's okay. We could use Nicaragua at the moment as a jumping board into somewhere else. Maybe like Haiti. Maybe like... Dominican Republic. Maybe... Cuba. Because I'm going to keep taking as many places as I can before I get into any global conflicts. So that I can take as much land and resources as I can for a good long while. So... With that in mind, I'm going to end the episode here because I'm going to play this a little bit off screen to get to the next point where we can go to war and have stuff like that happen. But anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. We capitulated Brazil. We took out Nicaragua. We're watching the world burn, especially in Europe, Eastern Europe. And we realized that the US, well, they don't have that many divisions, but they have a massive navy. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. If you liked the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link below, and I will see you all tomorrow as we shall continue taking regions where we can. Thanks for watching and have a great, great day.